With more information about H5N1 entering the news, there's been a lot of questions people have about symptoms as well as testing of the H5N1 avian flu if it was to infect an individual. So let's first break down the symptoms. Now symptoms can range from almost no symptoms to very severe. And this is very similar to other types of respiratory illnesses like the common cold, COVID-19, or even just the seasonal flu. And these symptoms could be fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, things that individuals will experience over a variety of these different conditions. However, as it begins to progress, it could move into more severe symptoms like difficulty breathing, pneumonia, or even acute respiratory distress syndrome. And if these severe symptoms continue, this could also lead to multi-system organ failure and then eventually death. However, because these symptoms are so broad across a variety of these different conditions, it does require very specific testing in order to determine if one has an H5N1 avian influenza infection. And that's where detection and testing come into play. So an individual who may be having H5N1 infection symptoms would receive a nasal or throat swab. Then that swab would be sent off to a very specific lab in order to have an RT-PCR test done to confirm whether or not that individual is suffering from an avian type of influenza. Because typical types of influenza detection are not able to distinguish between the seasonal flu as well as avian types of flu. Now, as more information becomes available, more testing becomes more readily available, as well as better diagnostics, we may be able to have more clear ideas of specific symptoms, as well as better tests that individuals can take for a more rapid turnover of results.